Hello again, this is Jeff. Welcome back to my craft table. And today I am showing off a little bit of my stamp collection. Now, I've been doing rubber stamping for basically, oh, let me do the math, 25 years. So I have a lot of old stamps in my collection and I was going through some of my old stamps to see if there was anything that I no longer used or no longer needed when I came across these babies. And uh, this was back um, in the day, um, or I should say this was back in the early 1990s, a, a company called Stamp Oasis had put out a series of sets and individual wood mounted stamps uh, based on the Star Trek franchise. Now, a lot of the red ones that you see here were originally mil mi uh, mounted on um, foam blocks, which I detested. They, they made printing very, very difficult and it was hard to get a really good clean image. So when I had the first opportunity to remount them on some kind of a uh, temporary mounting system, that's what I did. In this case, I'm using a hook and loop tape, or better known as Velcro, but this is not Velcro brand, so we couldn't call it that. Um, the, um, here, let me peel off this dude here. So on the back, you can see I've got the loop tape here, and then the mounts that they go on are these acrylic jobs, which I've also used for things like um, uh, clear stamps or cling stamps, because this side's completely flat and usable. So you just put this puppy here. Let me, might as well do it this way so we get two strips there. And there you go, you're ready. To, ah! You're ready to go. <clears throat> For those of you who are thinking, oh, just edit out those mistakes. Ha 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 ha, that would be, that would take some of the fun out of this. Okay, so yeah, let me show you, just ink this up. Check it. I, think, I don't think I have enough ink there. Now, this is Memento dye ink, and I'm stamping on chrome coat paper, so this should give a pretty decent crisp image. There we go. How is that? How do you like that? That prints pretty well, doesn't it? So I have some of all of the TNG cast. Um, as you can see, I've got Picard and Data and LaForge, Worf, Dr. Crusher, uh, Counselor Troy. They even did a Guinan, which doesn't really, it's not their best one they've ever done. But uh, just for um, completeness sake, I'll, I'll stamp her too. Plus it came with the ships, and we've got a big old Klingon dude here, the uh, Federation planet symbol, Klingon symbol. This is a quote that says it's better to die on your, um, better to die on your feet than um, live on your knees. Klingon ship. And I've got a couple more here. I actually have one that's the this show's uh, name, and I printed that earlier. It's not perfect, but it'll do. And then some others that are more stylized. These were a lot, all of these were originally mounted on wood, and I decided to remount them um, off of the wood after a while, just because it took up a lot of room. So let's try let's try printing guide in here. Let's get her inked up. Now you might still be able to find these sets somewhere. I haven't looked for them recently, so I don't know if anybody is still selling them. Um, they ceased production back in the mid 1990s, probably around 96 or 97, if I remember right. And then Stamp Oasis itself went out of business um, shortly thereafter. Oh, there's a little piece of schmutz on this. So you can see from this dot right here, there's something that was on the stamp. 
And I should have cleaned it first. Bad bear, no cookie. Let's get that wiped off. So the next time I stamp with it, it should actually work pretty well. What I will probably do in future is rebound these um, using uh, oof, using um, cling film or the cling uh, cling mount tape. So I'm gonna print one more of these. is uh, this one here to boldly go even pressure Not inked as well as it could have been, but it's not bad. It is still printing pretty well after 20 odd years. So there you go. Um, there are some other, oops, there are some other ones that were um, a set of the original Star Trek characters. I do have um, still on their wood mounts, a set of all six of the original Star Trek characters that are in standing form like they're in their full uniform and as a full standee so um those i still have in the box of wood mounted stamps i always thought it would be kind of silly to remount those since they were kind of small but uh yeah i'm kind of glad i ran into these again so thank you so much for watching don't forget to uh subscribe if this is the kind of content that you like don't forget to leave a comment below or hit like that's very helpful and uh, I will catch you again.